Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the side effects of benzodiazepines. What are the different types of side effects produced by benzodiazepines? How they can be remembered easily? And what are the withdrawal effects? All these things we will discuss in this video. So benzodiazepines are one group of drugs which are well prescribed and they are commonly known as benzos. These drugs can be identified by their suffix. One of the common suffix observed with many of the benzodiazepines is the palm. The palm indicates they are positive allosteric modulators. They are the modulators on the GABA A receptors, thereby they increase the action of GABA resulting in CNS inhibition. So we have many of the drugs with suffix palm, for instance digipalm, Florazepam, Lorazepam, Clonazepam, Temazepam, all these are the benzodiazepines with suffix palm. And few of the benzodiazepines are having a different suffix such as Jolam. Particularly, these drugs are fused benzodiazepines. They are having some extra ring apart from benzodiazepine ring. So, drugs like Alprazolam, Trizolam, Midazolam, all these are again benzodiazepines. In this way, we can identify the benzodiazepines with their suffix. Then, what is the clinical indication of these drugs? Benzodiazepines can be used as sedatives and anxiolytics. As well as their hypnotics, they can induce the sleep. Particularly, these drugs are prescribed in the patients who are having some anxiety. In such conditions, benzos can be used to reduce the aggressiveness, irritability, as well as anxiety within the patients. At the same time, they can also increase the sedation and induction of sleep. That's why these drugs are also used as hypnotics, which induce the sleep as well as increase the quality of the sleep. That's why benzodiazepines are called as minor tranquilizers. They can decrease the aggressiveness as well as induce the sleep. Similarly, these drugs can also be used as anticonvulsants as well as anesthetics. So, benzodiazepines can reduce the convulsions. For instance, dizepam can be used to control status epilepticus. Uninterrupted seizures can be controlled by benzodiazepines. So, these drugs can reduce the convulsions as well as they can reduce the consciousness. That's why they can also be used as IV anesthetics. So these are the clinical indications of benzodiazepines. So they can be used in various conditions. But what are the side effects produced by these benzodiazepines? The different side effects produced by benzos can be remembered with a simple code SCAM. Here every letter indicates one set of side effects. S indicates sedation. C indicates cognitive impairment, A is the asthenia and M is the muscle incoordination. So we can easily remember the side effects as CAM, sedation, cognitive impairment, asthenia and muscle incoordination. First of all, that is the first type of side effect sedation. So benzodiazepines can increase the sedation in the patients. That's why they can reduce the aggressiveness as well as irritability. So this is a pharmacological effect. But at the same time, it also leads to few of the side effects. And this sedation produced by benzodiazepines is because of their action on GABA A receptors. So within the CNS, GABA A receptors are expressed. These GABA A receptors are inotropic receptors. They are pentameric in nature and they are coupled with ion channels. They are activated by the GABA, one of the inhibitory neurotransmitter within the CNS. Now, benzodiazepines can bind to an accessory site on GABA A receptors, which facilitates the binding of GABA on GABA A receptors. By this binding, the chloride channels are opened, resulting in hyperpolarization and inhibition of CNS. In this way, benzodiazepines inhibit the neurotransmission, thereby they increase the sedation within the patients. And particularly, this sedation is more pronounced in the elders where the sedation produced by benzodiazepines may impair with daytime activities. And particularly this sedation is observed at a high dose of benzodiazepines. So in the elders, the dose of benzodiazepine should be reduced in order to minimize sedation produced by benzodiazepines. And when benzodiazepines are combined with alcohol, otherwise other centrally acting drugs such as opioids, which are the analgesics, 
and centrally produce some inhibition and antipsychotics which again produce some sedation so when these drugs are combined they can further increase the sedation produced by benzodiazepines so that's why benzodiazepine should be carefully administered along with alcohol so due to the sedation benzodiazepines can produce some dizziness in the patients some drowsiness lightheadedness and confusion some blurred vision all these symptoms can be produced because of sedation produced by benzodiazepines second group of side effect is the cognitive impairment now we know that benzodiazepines can reduce the memory so these drugs can produce anterograde amnesia this is the loss of memory of upcoming events so in these patients there will be decreased ability to form new memories so the memory of upcoming events is not stored resulting in anterograde amnesia again this side effect is more troublesome in elders and this amnesia is more pronounced with high dose of the benzodiazepines as well as intravenous administration third one is the asthenia since benzodiazepines produce cns inhibition they can produce some asthenia lack of energy and some fatigue some weakness in the patients fourth one is the muscle incoordination just we have seen that benzodiazepines open the chloride channels resulting in hyperpolarization so they can centrally produce some muscle relaxation and this muscle relaxation result in some muscle incoordination and finally it can lead to decreased grip strength within the patients and this muscle incoordination along with the sedation can impair few of the activities in the patients that's why caution should be taken when the patients are driving with vehicles because of sedation as well as muscle incoordination otherwise when they are working with machinery there may be a risk of accidents because of muscle incoordination and sedation within the patients that's why benzodiazepines are taken at night time in order to reduce this muscle incoordination and it can also increase imbalance within the patients resulting in fainting so all these precautions should be considered when these benzodiazepines are prescribed for long term period fifth one other side effects so just we have seen the side effects produced by benzodiazepines which can be remembered as code scam but they can also produce few of the other side effects such as sleep driving so those patients who are taking benzodiazepines may drive the vehicles without any full consciousness and some sleep apnea some bronchoconstriction during the sleep can be observed and few of the patients can also observe some depression by use of benzodiazepines for long term period and they can also reduce the blood pressure resulting in hypotension these side effects are not that much pronounced in all the patients and not observed with all benzodiazepines so when the benzodiazepines are used at high dose for longer periods they can produce any of these side effects now let us see the withdrawal effects produced by benzodiazepines these are not actually the side effects but these are the effects produced after withdrawal of benzodiazepines suddenly so when these benzodiazepines are suddenly withdrawn they can produce effects quite opposite to the actions of benzodiazepines since benzos produce sedation on withdrawal they can increase the anxiety irritability as well as aggressiveness and normally benzodiazepines induce the sleep so on sudden withdrawal they can produce some insomnia lack of sleep and they can also reduce the appetite resulting in the loss of weight as benzodiazepines act as anticonvulsants on sudden withdrawal they can increase the risk of convulsions and they can also produce some muscle spasm nausea and vomiting within the patients so these withdrawal effects are observed when these benzodiazepines are suddenly withdrawn after long term use so that's about the side effects of benzodiazepines hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video